Gong Hei Fat Choi. Xin Yat Kai Lo. I really apologize if my accent is terrible, but that basically means Happy Chinese New Year! Yay! I have been so excited to film this video. As you guys can probably tell from my voice, I am losing it. I finally got sick. I talked about this in a couple videos ago that my entire family was passing on some sickness. It has finally caught on to me. And as of yesterday, two days ago, I now have a cold. My throat feels a little scratchy and I am losing my voice, but I still wanted to film this video because I've been so excited to do this for a while now. So if you guys aren't familiar already, Hi, I'm Christina. This is Playdates and Travels. I do a lot of Disney content on this channel, and today is going to be a pin video. I had promised a while back that I was going to do a bunch of Lunar New Year pins to showcase that for you guys. And what I actually did is I ordered from the parks around the world. So, for those of you who might not be aware, Chinese New Year just occurred. Um, it is ended now. It started February 5th, I believe, went to February 17th or so. Um, it is a two-week long affair depending on where you are. I now have learned that in Shanghai they celebrate it the entire time. The post office closes, people go out and they celebrate with their families. It is a big big thing to do and it's pretty cool because I wish we had something similar in the US. We do not. We do not. However, um, all the different Asian countries, you know, get involved as well as it's part of the culture. So in Korea, they celebrate. In Japan, they celebrate. In China, they celebrate. So there's Chinese New Year and there's also Lunar New Year. It basically means the exact same thing. I think Lunar New Year just takes advantage of the fact that you're celebrating other cultures besides in China as well. And um, I just decided to collect those pins because I collected the Chinese Zodiac pins that were sold in Disneyland Park last year. Oh, they're still sold in the parks now, but I collected them last year, and I thought they were so beautiful. I fell in love. So I wanted to go ahead and collect that for this Chinese New Year, and I have pins from Japan, from Hong Kong Disneyland, from Shanghai Disneyland, and as well as Disneyland California. Disney World is the only park, I believe, that did not do a special Lunar New Year celebration. As far as I know, I used to go there all the time. I never, ever heard of a special Lunar New Year celebration until I moved to California. And for those of you who might have seen, I showed the Lunar New Year festival that was going on in Disneyland on my channel back in early February. So I will go ahead and put the link above if you're interested in going to watch that, that vlog because I thought it was so much fun. But today I'm going to show you all the pins that I collected from around the different Disney parks. These are Lunar New Year pins. And to go along with the festivities, I went and bought all of this the background that you see, I got it from my Chinatown um, in Los Angeles. I did go nuts and I was buying these Chinese lanterns. I was buying the different decor behind me. Basically the signage, I'm told, means um, a variation of good luck, happy new year, and um, one says money comes, which basically means like, let's bring on fortune, why not? And uh, this one with this beautiful background, oopsie, but that one with the beautiful background on the back, uh, with the beautiful colors in the backdrop, um, that one's supposed to say dreams come true, which I thought was great for this channel because this is a Disney related channel, so why not celebrate our dreams coming true? So, <coughs> excuse me. So let's go ahead and show you the pins. I'm going to turn it around and show you my pins as I open them up, and then I'm going to put them all on the board together so you can see the final effect. I'm so excited. But let's go ahead and get into this video. And if you like this type of content, please give me a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And in addition to all the decor, I also am wearing red. I painted my nails red. And I'm wearing the special New Year's, Chinese New Year ears that came out only in Shanghai and in Disneyland Park in California. I showed in my vlog that I bought these. I love these ears. I think these were so fabulous. So I was so excited to get them and wear them in this video. So let's get to the pins. And by the way, if you hear baby bobbles, it's because my son is next to me. Hi. Oh. I'm looking at him right now. So you might hear him from time to time. I just want to quickly show some of the cool things that I got from the Lunar New Year Festival. And my friend Jessica, um, she and her daughter Melissa met me in the park the day that I went inside of Disneyland. Um, it was actually in California Adventure where the Lunar New Year Festival takes place. And she got me the special AP button. She picked this up just for me. So this is what it says. It says AP, which is for annual pass holders only. And it does say Lunar New Year. Um, and I believe that right there just says Happy New Year and 2019. So she and her daughter went inside and she specifically picked this up for me, which is very, very sweet because I'm no longer an annual pass holder, but I love that pin, so I'm really appreciative. Thanks again, Jessica. And I actually have a bunch of buttons behind me 
This is the lanyard that came part of doing the food pass. They had a special pass that you could pay 30 something dollars for and it would give you the um, a lower price for six different foods or drinks during that festival. And I took advantage of that because I was, I went all foodie on you guys. And every time you went to a different booth, they gave you uh, a different button. So I collected them all. I'll do a close up at the end of the video so I can, you guys can see this a little bit better. But I have them all pinned to my board. And this is another AP uh, button because my friend actually, who picked up my Angel Pass holder pin from Disneyland, picked me that up as well, which is a surprise. I wasn't expecting that. So I'll show that in a second. Um, but this is the Year of the Pig um, Lunar New Year lanyard that came with that string, basically the ribbon. And this is what they gave out for the Sip and Saver Pass to save some money. And this basically tells you the instructions on the back. Yeah! So that's one of the things that I got from that festival. Um, and then this is another thing that they were giving out to, um, this is for the, no. This they gave out to the annual pass holders. They had a wishing wall um, in the park that anyone could access, but then annual pass holders also had their own wishing wall by the swings area, and Jessica gave me this as well. Um, you could leave a wish on this. On the back it says, New Year Wish, my New Year Wish, and you could say what it is, and then pin it to the wishing wall behind you, and it's supposed to come true that way, and Jessica went ahead and just gave this to me, which I really appreciate. This is so cute. I love paper goods like this, if you guys couldn't tell. Um, and then in the park, they had another wishing wall, so I went and grabbed that, and this is the one that you could do uh, that way as well. It says, Year of the Pig. I think I'm, no, I got that backwards. So the one I just showed you was the regular one. This one was the annual pass holder one because it does say AP. And Jessica did the exact same thing. She grabbed this for me so that I could access this. But this does have a pig symbol uh, picture right there for the year of the pig, AP, and then you could leave a wish and they gave you the string to leave it on. So I have all that on me as well. And then here is the pin. So the very first pin that I picked up as part of my Lunar New Year festivities was this one. I didn't go into the park that day, however, I do have a friend who is an annual pass holder, um, and she, we're, we're friends, our kids are, are very close friends, so she keeps in touch, and whenever she goes, she always reaches out and says, is there a pin that you want? A lot of the time, she does not go on a Thursday, so I usually tell her, don't worry about it, but she happened to be there that day on a Thursday, and I said, please pick me up the annual pass holder pin, and I'm so glad I did, because when I went a week and a half later, they were already sold out of the pins. I showed that in my vlog. So had I waited any longer, I would have missed out on this. I'm kind of bummed now that I didn't ask her to get me the regular pin. I didn't tell her to grab that one because I figured when I went, I would go and get that myself. And I couldn't get this one because I was an annual pass holder. However, they sold out. So I don't have the regular Lunar New Year pin that came out this year, sadly, in the States. But I did get this one. So this is a gorgeous design. It kind of reminds me of a pin that you might see in Hong Kong or Shanghai. It kind of very much mirrors that look. But it is a like hidden Mickey, basically, with this nice little tassel hanging from the bottom. And in the middle, you do have a pig symbol because it was the year of the pig. And I just realized um, after Lunar New Year, which is kind of funny, um, I think it was the last day of Lunar New Year, my husband is actually the year of the pig. So this was his year. We didn't know that we were celebrating him this year. So Happy New Year to you, to my husband. But anyway, <laughs> this is the pin, and you can see it's really gorgeous. In the interior, it basically says Happy New Year, and they have it in English down there as well, so you can know what it says. <laughs> But I think this is such a pretty, pretty pin. It's very sparkly and bedazzled. It's just, there's a lot of glitter on here. It's a lot of sparkly. I'm not sure if all that's coming out on camera, but this is a gorgeous pin. I love the little pig tassel to remind you of the year that you purchased this. And it does, I don't see 2019 in English written on here. So if it does say it, it would say it in the Chinese characters. But I just think this is a very fun pin and I just, I'm very excited to have this in my possession because this was an annual pass holder exclusive and I thought this was just a gorgeous design. And this was my very first Lunar New Year pin. And it's just funny, it's my very first one, but it's the last one I received because I just met with my friend last week to pick this up so I could film my video. The next pin I'm gonna show, I actually showed on my channel in a previous video, in a Magic Mail video, and I showed that I had gotten this one from Tokyo Disney. I ordered it from a seller, k23japan.com. I think he's great. He gets a lot of pins. And a lot of times when they sell it in the parks like this one did, he will still have it available. So I purchased a shirt from him in the past. It was my big um, Aladdin t-shirt that you guys have seen from the Tokyo Disney Resort that I love. 
And he was the only other person that had this pin as well. They were sold out everywhere. I tried reaching out to my personal shopper. She said, sorry, they sold out. So I was a little bummed, but I saw that his website had it, and I ordered it from him. And it came so quick. And this is the 2019 design that came out in Japan this year. You can see it has Pumbaa in the back because it was the year of the pig. This is just such a cute, cute pin. Um, I'm going to take it off the backing card just to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see, possibly. I do like that the back of this pin does say it's the 35th anniversary of Tokyo Disney because that's what's going on still this year. Um, but here's the pin up close. You can see Mickey and Minnie, and they have um, sort of like a Japanese... Uh, style kimono um and i just love she has a flower in her hair she's holding a fan in the back is what looks like a sun um there is a chinese uh or maybe it's a japanese character right here i'm not sure what that says because i do have a google translate app but because it's drawn it's not an actual um handwriting i guess it's just like a painting it does not detect what that says but uh i do have some japanese viewers so i'm calling you out sophie if you ever watched this video tell me what this says i don't know I do not know what that says, <laughs> but <clears throat> at any rate, I love this pin. I think it's gorgeous. I love the flowers on the bottom, and I like how this is kind of like a Japanese touch. Um, you know, uh, it's my only Japanese Lunar New Year pin that I have. I just think it's such a fun design. Speaking of different cultures that aren't in China, I have these money envelopes. So if you guys watch Beth Lung, she's another YouTuber, and she did a video um, where she showcased a lot of pins that came from the uh, Hong Kong park, and I think Shanghai as well. And in her video, she mentioned the significance of the money envelopes, which I never knew. So thank you so much to Beth for letting me know about that. Sorry, my son is moving this uh, pole that has this Chinese lantern, so that is why it's moving as we talk. Babies. But at any rate, um, the money envelope, I guess you give to uh, single people. And that, you know, it's kind of like when you do weddings in the United States, so you give them wedding. You give the single people money, um, and when you get married, you don't get money anymore. That's the one nice thing about single when you get married. You get money! Um, but anyway... I feel like everything is moving right now. Nicholas, you're going to knock the stuff over. But at any rate, I have these two money envelopes because my daughter's school actually had two women come in and talk about Lunar New Year um, during the festival. And um, these, I believe, are Korean envelopes because uh, that's what their background is. And it does say Handmade in Korea on the back of this particular envelope. And I do like that this is a different shade. You can see this one has green and... You can see this has shades of green and pink and yellow. So it's a little more bright and vibrant than some of the Chinese envelopes. It's a little bit different, but I guess that's how the Koreans celebrate it. And this does have a little... Um, Velcro enclosure. So this is a beautiful envelope, and my daughter did receive this in school, I guess because she's single. They gave, they gave everyone a dollar in here. So everyone in her school got a dollar. Which I thought was a little weird giving kids money, but maybe, I guess now that I know the significance of it, it makes a little bit more sense. Um, and then she also got this envelope as well, and this one also came with a dollar um, in it. So you can see this is pink and blue, and that one was a vibrant green and yellow and pink. So in Korea, they have different colors. They, have, they celebrate pink more. So that's a cool to just like see how the different cultures celebrate this same festival. One more thing I want to show that came from the U.S. Park before I get into my Shanghai and Hong Kong pins. And that's this. I got this from the Disneyland Lunar New Year Festival and they had free calligraphy. This actually says love. Um, you can see the bottom says happy, new, happy Lunar New Year. And I had someone draw this for me. I picked it out of different selections of what I wanted to have drawn. I said I wanted this one, and this one does say love, so I think this is very pretty and appropriate for the month. And yes, I realize that it's now March, and I'm a completely a month behind on celebrating this. It just took a while for my pins from Shanghai and Hong Kong to arrive. Shanghai was the longest, so I ordered basically right, but I think a day or two before Lunar New Year started. And then my person in Shanghai was like, great, I will send it out in two weeks. And I said, oh my god, I had no idea. So next year I will be prepared and actually order in advance and not wait to the last possible second when they go and close the post office in these countries. My son is taking all my decor down. Why, Nicholas? Why? Oh yes, the lantern. Fill me with babies. Okay, so now I'm going to go into my international pins, and I have no idea what's inside. I just went ahead and cut the slit open. So I'm going to open this up for the first time on camera with you guys. You guys can see my genuine reaction. 
This is from Shanghai. Okay, so this is the one that took a little bit longer. But let's go ahead and open this one. Um, and I'm seeing a note in here, so I'll go ahead and read the note first, I guess. Oh no, it's sticker. So, oh cool, it's a Shanghai Disney Resort sticker, and I don't have anything from Shanghai. So this is awesome. I think this, is this my first ever Shanghai pin? This might be. No, I have, I have the grand opening pins that made their way over to the character warehouse in Florida. And of course, everyone who's ever seen those um, videos or pins knows that they were selling for a dollar here in the U.S. So not that exciting um, in terms of the value, the resale value. But I love this sticker. It is a life goal of mine to someday make it to Shanghai and visit this park in person because I am so curious to see the tallest Disney castle. Of course, I'm a big person. I'm a big fan of Disney castles in general, so that is top of my list. So I have... Bullseye from Toy Story, and then I also have a Woody version. And um, what's cool about this one is that it actually has some characters uh, written in Chinese. That is awesome. So I would love to go see this someday in Shanghai Disney Resort. This is so fantastic. It does say Toy Story Land. So this is the Shanghai Disney version of it. This is so much fun. And I'm definitely going to keep these stickers and maybe I'll even put them with some of my Toy Story pins. And then I have my big pin and it looks like um, the smaller pin as well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this one. This one I actually saw on Beth Long's channel again. And she had opened the Chinese mystery pins that came out for New Year's, Chinese New Year. They had one special box in Shanghai only. And I really just wanted this one pin. So I saw a couple people had it for sale and I decided to buy it separately instead of just buying the box because that would have been a waste of money. But let me go ahead and show you this pin up close. And what's cool about this pin is I thought it might go well with my Chinese Zodiac set as well. And it is Pluto. And Pluto is gorgeous in this pin. You can see his tongue is sticking out. There is some kind of character. I don't know what this means. Um, I think Beth might have actually said what it meant on her channel, if I'm not mistaken, so go watch her video as well. Um, but you can see there's a flower in the middle of the symbol. It's really, really pretty, and I'm a big Pluto fan, if you guys didn't know that already. So I saw this pin, thought this was gorgeous, and I love the red color. It's so bright and vibrant. Again, with the whole red Chinese, um, New Year look and aesthetic, I thought this was a very fun pin, so I wanted to go ahead and get this one. And here is my jumbo pin that I'm so excited that I finally have. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this was a special pin. You could only get this pin if you bought one of the Lucky Bags. And if you guys don't know what Lucky Bags are, it's something that the Asian cultures do um, every now and then. They're like these special bags that you can purchase, and there's mystery items inside, and each lucky bag had a different pin, so you had no guarantee of getting this particular one, but this is one that I saw online advertised in the Shanghai Disney Resort uh, lucky bags, and I said, I really want that pin. How can I get my hands on it? Only a couple people had access to it, so the seller that I use, and I'll put her name on here, uh, did have this one. I believe this is the one that Beth had mentioned to me, so uh, so grateful that I was able to get these pins through them, but... Uh, this is Mickey and Minnie in front, and you can see they're standing in front of what looks like a door, and the doors knob, the doorknobs are Mickey heads. So you have Hidden Mickey's right there, and I just love the detail around this. I mean, this is so, so nice. You have a lantern drawn on either end. I don't, I don't know if that's coming out so clearly. I'll do a close-up of this, but this is just gorgeous. And of course, there's another Hidden Mickey on the very top with a Chinese character as well. Um, and this is a hinge pin. You guys might know that I love my hinge pins. I love pins that move. So there are two backings on the back. Um, and if you open up the doors, you have more characters inside. So you have Pluto, Goofy, and Donald, which basically means this entire pin represents the Fab Five. You have the original Fab Five characters, um, unveiled on this. So I love this pin so much. In the center right there, it does say Happy New Year, and it's just a gorgeous design. Uh, it does say 2019 in the numerical form, so you can see that as well. And I just thought this was a fun pin. I hadn't actually seen anyone else with this pin, but I saw this online on Instagram, and I just fell in love. So I'm glad that I finally won out <laughs> and went ahead and bought this. And the original price, it does say here, was valued at $169, um, and I will put the value on the screen of what that is, but I think that came out to around 
$30. It was something more on the expensive side because this is considered a jumbo pin and you once again could only get this if you happened to get the lucky bag that had this pin inside of it. So I love this pin so much. Go ahead and fix that. There we go. And yeah, this is going to be so, so cool to put on my board. Yay! Now we have one more bag and this is also from Hong Kong. So this is from another seller that I worked with. And oh, there's some goodies in here. So he sent me a note. It says, thank you for purchasing. Um, thank you for purchasing. Hope I can help you again soon. Please let me know if you receive this. Thank you at typein.trader. So that is the seller I used. Um, this is, I think it's a female actually. And she's based in Hong Kong, Disneyland. Uh, and I have a couple of stickers that they included in my package. I have poo so cute poofs like in a form of an apple and then I have um, I have Sully right here so cute this is like the Hong Kong stylized version of him I have Shelly Mae in what looks like a, I don't know what fruit this is or what egg, an eggplant this is like an eggplant right um, oh my goodness so many stickers and then I have Maui and Moana ready to take some action and finally, I have Chip, looking at like a stylized version of Chip right there. So these are fun. Oh, I just realized at the very bottom it actually says their name. So this one says his name is Perry. I don't know who Perry is. If you guys know who Perry is, dressed as an orange, let me know. But I'm assuming this is one of the Simpson birds, or maybe this is a Hong Kong exclusive ride that I'm not aware of. But so cute. I love these stickers. Such a great touch. Let me start with my Lunar New Year pin. And that one is right here. I can see it through the wrapping pan paper. Double wrap, I don't know why I said wrapping paper. Oh my goodness. Okay. So this says Hong Kong Disneyland, and this is a pin I was so excited to get. It is, because it was the year of the pig, you have the three little pigs on a pin. This is such a fun design. I like that they each have something in their hands. This one has something pink. It looks like a pink dumpling, actually. Um this pig this little piggy has another treat this one has a green headed mickey there's a flower pot that he's bringing to brunch i don't know where they're going but this is such a fun fun design and i liked it because it had the three pigs and i wanted to have something that would remind me that i bought this the year of the pig so i thought that would be appropriate and it's just a fun cute design very glittery once again i love these pins they are so spectacular and it's a pin on pin design so um, the three pigs are kind of you know floating on this background surface which gives it a nice 3d element and i love that and this once again has two pin backings on the back and the original price was 148 hong kong dollars if anyone wants to know um of course that's not what i spent but yeah this was a great uh deal and i will say that type and trader actually gave me a pretty good deal um in that the pins were sold at close to actual cost which i really appreciate it as well Oh, I have more stickers. I have another chip in a mushroom. It kind of looks like a Mario <laughs> mushroom. You guys know what I'm talking about um, from the Mario Brothers. But this is another chip sticker. And then I have R2. Yes, baby. Yes. And then I have an R2-D2 sticker. How cute is that for all my Star Wars lovers? All right. The next thing I'm going to have to assemble because... <laughs> To save on shipping costs, they kind of disassemble this, but it is this. So I'm going to put it back. Let's put the magic together. I don't know why the Jeopardy music just came in my head, but uh, there you go. You guys, put in your wager what this is. Ta-da! I just basically reassembled the box. So they flattened it when they sent it to me. They asked if that was okay to make sure that they were able to get a smaller envelope sent to me. And I said, that's fine. Just don't open up the actual pin so it would be a surprise to me. And so this is one of the pin trading carnival pins that came out this year. And it is a mystery box that's only sold in Hong Kong. There's an eight pin design. So each box contains three random pins. There's a, it's a mystery. I have no idea what's in here. And... I like that the pin shows you what the different designs are. You could possibly have ham. There's a green alien on that side. You guys are used to me having a happy baby, but he's very sad right now. I'm sorry. I might stop filming. 
But I just wanted to show the different pins that are on here. You have Scrump, Percy from Pocahontas. I see Stitch, Dumbo, Chip, and then up here is the Cheshire Cat. So that is, what, six different designs right there. And here are the other two. So those are the possible eight that possibly come in here. The one that I want the most, I'm not going to lie, I want Ham and the Green Alien. But we'll see what comes in here. I just like that they're like little hot air balloons, so it's a fun design. I have seen a couple other people open these, so it's not a complete surprise to me as to what will be inside. But I wanted to go ahead and show that. Oh, and then this also came with this little paper that tells you the other pins that will be released later. Um, so these are all the designs that are possibly in this box. La da da da! And then later on, you can have these designs as well. I would so love to have Flounder in my possession and Miko. Those are my top choices out of everything on here. If I could get those somehow, I would be in heaven. Okay, so now that I reassembled the box, let's disassemble it once again and see which three pins I got as part of this package. I can take the bubble wrap off of all of these so they're in the regular black mystery pin bags per usual. There we go. So, one, two, three, no idea what's inside. Let's go for ham and a green alien. Let's see, our first one is, I'm seeing something pink. <gasps> I got ham! I got ham. So, this is really cool, oh my gosh. It's, once again, very sparkly and really pretty, nice detail. So, it's kind of like a glossy ham face <laughs> on top of a very tiny little air balloon. And in the air balloon, you can see there is a small hidden Mickey. These aren't the biggest pins whatsoever, but I knew that going into it because I had seen other people open this. So thank you to, I think, um, both Beth and my friend Karen from Karen U Karen's USA Adventures both opened this previously. So I got a chance to see what I was going to get. But I do have a ham, so awesome. Definitely number one on my list. So one down, two more to go. Let's see the next one in here. If I couldn't get the Green Alien, this is the next best thing. You guys know my love for this movie, my daughter's love for this movie. So classic. I also wanted him. I forgot this was actually an option. Little baby Dumbo. I love Dumbo so much, and this is so cute, and we'll go with my regular Dumbo collection. So, even better. But he is on a nice yellow hot air balloon, and this is an adorable pin. Loving that. Let's see if I can feel. I don't know how people feel for these things. <gasps> okay, so I do not have a green alien. I would have liked a green alien, but I didn't get a green alien. However, I'm not disappointed with any of these pins. I think this is really cute. This is my very first Pocahontas pin besides the big P that I pulled out from my mystery packaging the other day. But uh, I have Percy. I have Percy in a hot air balloon, and he is just really, really grumpy and cute. So I do like the nice, bright, vibrant blue. It's kind of like a purple because of the shiny material on it. On it, But um, this is a gorgeous pin. So my three mystery hot air balloons were Dumbo, Percy, and Ham. So that is it. That is my opening today. I just wanted to show that. And now I'm going to show you all of my Chinese New Year pins, Lunar New Year pins together so you can see how they fit in, and I'm going to show you my Chinese Zodiac pins from last year so that you can also get a vibe. How they all fit together, and I'm so excited. So let's turn it around to my pin board. So here's the pin board. It says Lunar New Year. And each of these are buttons that you got from going to the kiosk, the food kiosk, during the Lunar New Year Festival in California Adventure. This is a Happy New Year red envelope that I got from Daiso stores in LA. This is the Disneyland pin. This Cricky is part of the new Mulan set that came out as part of the Wisdom Collection in the Disney store. There's my Shanghai door pin. It's a nice little uh, You're the Pig tassel I got from Chinatown. There's Percy. This is one of the duo sets from Disney store this year as well, so it's your guardian spirit. I have a couple of my Mulan pins here. There's more Mushu's right there. There's a Mulan dress pin, there's a Mulan lunchbox pin, nice little red heart shape. There is my Hong Kong Three Little Pigs pin from this year's Lunar New Year. There are the rest of my hot air balloon pins from the Pin Trading Night set. There's my Shanghai Disney Pluto from the Mystery Collection. That's also from the Disney Store 3 pin set. 
that along with this Mushu, of course. And there is my Japan Lunar New Year pin. So a lot of fun stuff happening on this board. And then of course down here I have my four Chinese Zodiac pins from last year. And these are part of the American Chinese Zodiac mystery pin boxes. And I have these four that I received. Um, I love all four of them. So I have Pluto, Maximus from Tangled, uh, Piglet from Winnie the Pooh, obviously, as well as Tigger. And I love these pins so much. I'm hoping to get another box in the future so I can maybe try to complete this set because I just think they're gorgeous. But as you can see, there's a lot of red going on in this pin board. I really went with that motif. And this is the pin when it's open. I love it. So there you go. There you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing my lovely Lunar New Year related pin board. This is so much fun. This was fun to put together and I can't wait to show you guys some more of my pin collection that I have hiding behind me. Ha ha ha. Um, but yeah, let me know if you like this video. Give it a thumbs up and let me know what your favorite pin was that I opened. Um, I think for sure it's this jumbo one, but I'm loving the American one and I'm hoping to get my hands on the other one that came in the Disneyland park, um, maybe via trade soon. And I love my Japan one. These are so much fun. All right, thanks again. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>